to the episode two podcast of FBA American Government, and we're focusing on the coming city center today, which is going to be really awesome, and you can see some of it behind us here. And I'm joined with Miss Jennifer Archer, and she is uh, really over a lot of what's going on behind us here. Uh, so I'm going to let her introduce herself, and you guys can get to know her, and then we will uh, kind of ask some poignant questions about what's happening in the coming city center. My name is Jennifer Archer. I am the Cumming City Center property manager. I actually graduated from Forsyth Central High School in 2008. Um, I do live locally within city limits with my family. I have two children, a 10 year old, and I have an almost three year old. Um, my husband, again, local, works for the sheriff's office, so very deep rooted here. Um, I did go to University of North Georgia, and I have a degree from Gainesville State College as well. All right, so. What part did the local government play in getting this started and this project rolling? Perfect. So local government actually started as simple as acquiring the land, going into permitting and all the different transactions that made this development possible here legally. Um, it also went into getting the plans on paper with architects and engineers to actually getting the plans off of paper to vertical. Um, from there, it even goes as far as managing the property, the events, those sort of things. We also have many things that local businesses, citizens, organizations have done themselves to get involved. Um, sponsorships, buying a bench, buying a brick, um, any of those sort of things. Lusab Amphitheater, the sponsorship there. So we have a lot of organizations and businesses locally that have also been involved. That's awesome. So it builds that buy-in from the community too. Yes. All right, so we're here in the Cumming City Center and what type of restaurants, activities, study areas are here and available for high school age students? Yes. So all of our restaurants are really a family friendly setting, but really geared toward a place to study or a place to hang out after school would be Juke and Jive. Um, so that's ice cream fudge, 50s theme. Nice. We also have Good Vibes, which is a healthy nutritional shop, but they have a really fun, hip vibe place to hang out for kids specifically after school. Um, so we have many places that are great for that, but those two I think will be the popular spots. Awesome. That's really exciting. So as we continue through the city center, we are here at the Buy a Bricks location right next to the beautiful fountain. So do you want to elaborate a little bit on what this Buy a Brick program is all about? did our first round of buy a brick um posted over over a year now and we still have a couple blanks as you can see that we plan to put up here in the next couple months so if you have not already taken the chance to be a part of this you can most definitely um we will air that on social media our website all of that where you can buy a brick all right and then we're seeing a lot of the businesses here behind us how many of these businesses are locally owned they are all locally owned. We made it a point to have no big box outlets here or anything like that. So everybody here is local. We are here at the Tin Cup Grill rooftop, which is an awesome view here of Sawney Mountain. And we've got the putt-putt course behind us. So that would be something that would be interesting for anyone. So for seniors specifically here in Forsyth County that would be taking this government course, they might be wondering, how can I get involved in this awesome location? So what could they do? There are a lot of things you can do to get involved. Um, putting in an application for many of the local businesses who are on the brink of hiring will have job fairs here soon. Also volunteering at events that many of the times we have open for volunteers. Attending an event just to have fun or even um, maybe if they're a musician, applying to be the musician for one of the nights at any of these locations that have live music. All right, we're in front of this beautiful mural here at the city center. And if students want to come down, is there an hour of operation time for them to kind of be in that window? Our hours are flexible. Um, so each tenant will vary with their own hours. So they can stay open as late as they need to or open as early as they have to. We kept in consideration that each of these businesses, they're local and they are small family operated businesses. So really just trying to be lenient with their hours of operations and their days that they're operating. The park areas and green space areas, those will be open sun up to sun down, unless there is an event going on at the same time, then those can stay open later while also maintaining a safe environment. All right, so as they're coming, is there any events that they can go ahead and plan for here as we're recording in early March? Absolutely. 
absolutely. St. Patty's Day is March 17th. We also have the spring market coming up toward the end of April. We have many concerts that are soon to be announced and also hopefully soon in the future some movies as well. This place is going to be fun. Great. Thank you guys for joining us as we learn all about the coming city center. So moving forward, how can they stay up to date with events and business openings? The best way to stay up to date with openings, events, all of the good stuff is to follow us on Instagram and Facebook. And then our website is also comingcitycenter.com. Thank you so much for taking the time to tell us all about the coming city center. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. I'm gonna, I, I like, we, we have, we have like mess ups, huh? mess ups, clips. Is there a blooper reel? Bloopers, <laughs> bloopers, yeah, bloopers. All right, so practice run here on the yellow brick road as we travel down uh, the rooftop at the, on the corner here. And that wasn't good, sorry, hold on. <laughs> With business openings and events that are coming up. The best way to stay up to date on events and also on openings, job openings, those sort of, oh, no. <laughs> Turn sideways. Oh, I'm like, why did it do that? <laughs> it's not happy with me for some reason.